Well, we started our conversation this morning by talking about the inauguration of the new governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Soludo. And uh, my colleague Ayo did mention the words, some of the words which he started uh, saying that the people, uh, he presented himself for employment and the people interviewed him and found him worthy. Um, and one of the ways people do this employment is by ensuring that they have uh, their voter's card. They're able, that's the only instrument through which people can employ uh, those who wish, or let's say recruit those who wish to occupy public office. It's a very important exercise. Uh, and for the past uh, couple of months now, INEC has been on this registration drive. This morning, we ask how far so far is there a great awareness about the current uh, registration drive? Are people complying? INEC tried to be innovative um, in this new drive by ensuring that people can do this online. Do people understand the process? Will INEC need to uh, re renovate, so to speak, or reinvent itself, so to speak, uh, in terms of getting people to go with the flow. These are some of the questions uh, we intend to raise this morning. And we have two gentlemen here in the studio. Mr. Victor Aluko is the Director of Voter Education and Publicity at INEC. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thanks for me. We also have with us uh, Mr. Austin Aigbe, who is a Senior Program Officer, Center for Democracy and Development. Mr. Egbe, welcome to the program as Thank well. You. Nice to meet you again this morning. Well, this is, uh, this is where we currently are, um, that we're getting into the season where politicians have started politicking and getting ready for their primaries to present themselves to the people. The question now is, are the people themselves getting ready? How far uh, have we gone with the voter continuous voter registration exercise? Um, for INEC, we're trying our best. We started months ago last year at the, at the end of June. And I said, this Monday, 14th March, 14 million um, 4 million Nigerians, 4 million Nigerians have successfully registered. That's new, new, new registrants. New registrants. Now, uh, we all know that the SI is not for everyone. If you registered before and you don't have problems or we don't expect you to, to, to turn up to come and say you want to register again. We, we told Nigerians that exercise is for those who turned 18 years since the last uh, uh, exercise, since the last time we stopped the continuous voter registration or those who didn't register before. That's an opportunity for them now to ensure that their names sound registered. And we also told Nigerians that it's an opportunity for you to, if you have moved to another location, you know, you have transferred, you have moved, changed your residence and location. It's an opportunity for you to also, also transfer your registration to where you are so that you'll be able to vote. We also, we also said yeah. that it's also an opportunity for those who lost their cards or their cards have become defaced or spoiled to apply for new cards free of charge and INEC will give the cards to them. We also said those who have problems with the spellings of their names, you know, all those issues can also come up and let us know so that we'll make the corrections uh, for, uh, of, of those records. Mm. So, so far, so good. The number of people who have come up with either new registrations or with problems from the past or having moved um, areas or with defaced cards or stolen cards, lost cards, as the case might be, four million uh, uh, as the total figure. That's completed. Completed. But we also, we also have the total people who responded were about seven million. Seven actually. million. But most of these other, uh, most of the other people were people who, who, who pre-registered online. And we need to let them know, mostly young people, we need to let them know that that online registration, it's not an end, but it, it's not an end but it's, uh, by itself. When you go online, you are only pre-registering. You still need to get to our office to finalize that registration. Some people just thought that once you go online, that's the end. No, we are asking them to go to our, to our office and finalize that registration. The online team was supposed to make, to, to make you get started. That is, you are busy, you, so you, you, you register online and you, you give a date that you will come to our office to now finalize. And some of them 
we're not doing that. And that's why we are saying that they should understand the process. It's always good to understand the process of an activity so that you'll be able to finalize your registration and you'll be able to get your card so that you can vote in 2023. So that's an, a major thing we are telling young people especially. You know, we, we, we are grateful for their response. And we are saying, if you pre-register online and you have not gone to our office to finalize it, it's like uh, you've, done, you've, done, you've gone halfway. You know, you have not completed it. And of course, those who went directly to our offices, these, the local government offices, state offices, and were able to register, completed their registration. And of course, since last Tuesday, 8th of March, we now move that registration exercise to the wards in the country. Because people are complaining that, yes, so, uh, local government offices, state offices were far from where they were. We now moved registration to ward level all over the country. Mm -hmm. All the wards in the country will move registration to ward level so that people can assess mm -hmm. uh, the locations more. I was going to come to that shortly. And I see that our producers already put in the website. Um, where you, people are expected to log on and start the registration process on. And we will come to that shortly so that you can help uh, perhaps take people through the process. Uh, but I was just going to ask you, because so far you said only 4 million people have, have, success, completed. have successfully completed the people process. Have more. Yes. So I, what I would like to know is how many people did you estimate when you started the voter, continuous voter registration at the end of June, how many people did the commission estimate could be registering before the ne next election? The commission actually estimated that between the end of June next year and the end of June this year, that's the year when we we'll stop the process, that we, we, we could have up to 20 million new registrants. 20 that million? Was, that was what we prepared for. We could have up to 20 million. Okay. We know that it could be less than that, but we decided to just uh, have, have an estimate. Just to confirm, uh, the, the old figure before this new... Was 84 million. Was 84 million yes, as uh, registered voters. And, uh, you know, there have also been questions uh, about the state of the register, because people have said we need to clean it out, we need the, to remove dead the, people. The register is a living to... register. Yeah. You know, we created an electronic voters register, mm -hmm. you know, in 2011. And that's why we don't do general registration anymore. Once your name is there, your name is there. Yeah, so, so there are people who so, are saying that we need to clean out that, that register. That All register needs to be harmonized. Updating. The process of updating mm -hmm. is taking in and removing, taking in new people, removing people who are dead, you know, and people who have moved to other places. How do you know that job. people are dead? Well, and then, like, we're not we're not the hospitals, we're not the population commission, we're not places where they register that. We rely on data from other sources. Mm. If we're giving valid data about in a community about people who have passed on, then we will remove their names from the register. But you know, we cannot just go on our on our computers and start removing names. That would be illegal. You need valid data. You know, they have, no, that data has to be presented to us. I'm now, not the one who has raised No, I'm it. just saying, uh, the, no, the you are saying about, a valid thing. Yes, about, about the need to clean the we register. Need, yes, the register must who, be cleaned yeah, regularly. Those, yes. the register is, that's why I say it's a living register. Okay. That is, as we go on, you know, people, people pass on every day. Mm -hmm. People are born every day. It's true. People turn 18, 18 every day. Just as we are doing our best to ensure that those who turn 18 are able to enroll, it's also important that those who are passed on, their names are removed. But I'm saying that the process of removal is not, it's not that easy because you cannot just wake up one morning and start removing people's names. We need data from the relevant agencies. Okay. Let me come to you, uh, Mr. Igwe. I don't know how, I know that your, um, your organization is very involved in raising voter awareness as well, and you've been uh, talking about the need for people to register. Um, I'm wondering, how would you rate the process so far? If, have you had complaints from people? Do people think that this uh, new method which INEC has adopted is working for them? Or have you heard, uh, you know, suggestions that they have made that they would like you to perhaps transmit to the commission? Yes, uh, there's been a combination of um, challenge people have come up with, uh, particularly one of them had been resolved recently by the cascading of the process to the world. Um, there was a huge challenge. People 
particularly local individuals who live far away from uh, local authority, local area and of course the state, um, getting access to those locations. So ANEC had then responded because again, you have to think about the resources of Cascadia and that's probably why ANEC delayed the process. The whole purpose for the online registration was to ease to some degree of um, to, to, to increase the willingness, mm -hmm. particularly of young people, to, to, to get on board and gradually take them to the, 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 the local authority. Uh, I know that majority of people, the three million we talked about, are young people who probably will, may never have the time to go physically to the point. And a lot of folks who live outside of this shore of this country who wish to register as a voter, but because of the time lag, because there's also, also a time lag for which you have to register online and then appear physically at the, at the local authority uh, level. And if those guys are out of the country and they're unable to arrive at that material time, then that, that registration becomes invalid. Th these are some of the challenges. Maybe, Let me quickly respond to that. Does it become invalid if you don't go when you say you will go to the INEC office? Not really. Not really, because you have already indicated... Not really is not a yes or a no. <laughs> yeah. so not really. Yes. The reason is, if you still go after, mm -hmm. the records are there. We will not turn you uh, away. You know, will not turn the person away. The interest is for people to be able to enroll. So no, it register. doesn't make it invalid. It doesn't necessarily make it invalid. No, but that is not so, exactly so that, that, it. Just to explain. <laughs> yes. You have it when you go online to register. Yes. You click on a date. Mm -hmm. you, you you book you book. Yes. Us. And you got a, and you got a, you got a tag. When that time elapses, you then have to go register and get another time slot. So most often, I need to advise that you just go physically and get it done within a period of time. When you get a date, and actually what, I know a lot of people who got date and they couldn't appear. This is not something that, it's actually something that was discussed at the INEC office. Mm -hmm. That there's a time slot, once you get that date, there's a 14 specific days, time. 14 days. Yes. 14 days interval. Exactly. And we expect you to, to, to go. appear. So if you don't appear, then that 14 days elapses, you have to go book another time. Is that correct, sir? Well, I said not necessarily, because, because if you go online again and you, you, and you start uh, pre-registering, you, 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 you start a period of double registration. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That it would be good for you to go on that day that you booked, because you booked it yourself. Mm -hmm. But if you default and you appear in our office, we'll try to still consider you because it's in our interest that you register. You know, that's the most, that's the paramount interest. What instruction you do your people have? Because, you know, you, no, we, you, you know, are When you boss, are dealing with youth, when yes. you are dealing with young people, yes. when you are dealing with young people, the important thing is to let them know the process. But a few times, people default. And you don't use, necessarily use a sledgehammer when you are dealing with young people because when you are too hard, you turn people away. And it's not in our interest to turn people away. It is good when people say, on the 20th, 28th, I will be there. But when they don't turn up, it's, it's, it's painful for us, it's painful for our process. But what I'm saying is that the important thing for us is for people to participate. You know, I'm a you little know? bothered when you say, I mean, when I asked you the question about whether or not it invalidates your registration, you didn't say, yes, it invalidates your registration, or oh, no, it doesn't invalidate your registration. It doesn't registration. invalidate the pre-registration. You, uh -huh. you, you said not no. necessarily, which means that it could, it might not, which is neither here nor there. I mean, that's how I interpret when it's not a yes or a no. If it's somewhere in the middle, it means that depending on your circumstance, you, it could invalidate it or it might not invalidate it. The, that's, the, that's the meaning I get from that. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying it doesn't necessarily invalidate it. No, the necessarily is, it doesn't is, invalidate is, is the word it. I have a problem with. Because if you go online again and you begin another process, that's double So you process. don't need to, if assuming you're not able to meet your date for whatever reason, it could be ill health, it could be work, it could be anything. Um, assuming that happens, what should anyone in that circumstance do? The person do? should still go to our office, maybe uh, due to ill health. When you are now out of hospital, go to our office, go and complete it. You know, the person will be considered rather than start a new process that becomes a double process. We'll try our best to avoid all these double issues because we're having a lot of 
problems with double registration. In Anambra, thousands of people will have to clean from the register. In FCT, after we, 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 we did, we've completed CVR, we have to clean thousands off. You know, many people will believe either uh, registered, uh, engaging double registration out of ignorance. Some did it willingly because they felt like instead of transferring, let me register again. Instead of going to change my card, let me register again. And all this creates a lot of problem for the process. The process of cleaning the register itself it's, it's, not, it's not just free of child like that. You spend money mm -hmm. and you spend taxpayers' money. So you and would so rather that if you, if you miss your date, so this is very important, if go when you, you, you book possible, a date, as quickly as possible. go as quickly as possible to the nearest INEC so office and you will be considered again. Consider. Do not register again. Uh, so this is, I mean, I'm looking at the visuals on television now, and it will seem that much as you've made the process um, easier for young people to be able to, not just young people, anyone, to be able to go online and start the registration process. Do you still have this process currently ongoing? I mean, uh, that, these are your that's offices. the online process. Yes. Online process. No, no, no. I mean, uh, the, so the, the process where I mean, INEC officials go to different words and they are registering people starting from online. Do you course, have that? Of course. Of course. Like I, like I said, we moved registration to word level. That's for actually physical registration. When it comes to online, you know, you have to go to our office at the local, go local government uh, uh, level or at the state office. We don't have offices actually in words. We don't have offices in words. We don't have the infrastructure in words to do that. It is, if it is online to registration, you have to complete it in our local government office or our state office. But for physical registration, we've moved to all the words now so that we are nearer to the people and we're asking uh, those who have not registered to take advantage of this. And we're also telling those who have lost their cards, don't register afresh because it becomes double registration. We will clean it off. Those who have those who have, uh, who have defaced cards or have lost their cards, don't register afresh. Just let us know. Come to us and say, we ask you, what do you want to do? Just tell us the truth. I've lost my card. Or I've been transferred. I want to transfer my registration. Immediately, the officials will do the right thing. That there are different forms you, for all these things. And you, 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 you will get your, your new cards and you'll be OK. Rather than wanting to register afresh and clog you can imagine all over the country now, after the registration, I want to finish registration in June this year. We have to go on what we call automatic biometric identification system, ABIS. That is, we subject the entire thing to computer analysis. And the, 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 the systems we use these are so powerful that if you registered before in Lagos and you now come to Abuja and do a second a double registration, we will pick it. And what we are saying, we will remove that late, last registration. So it becomes a waste of time a waste of effort, we will remove it. So it's not necessary. Just tell us exactly what you want to do and it will be done for you. Okay. Let me send this to my colleagues in Lagos. Gentlemen. Thank you, Malkwe. Uh, uh, perhaps a good way to start, uh, Malkwe, is to even ask people who have uh, had to go to Abuja or to, uh, to any INEC office or whatever to you know, send us their own comments. So you can go check our Twitter uh, handle right now. There's a question there for you if, in case you have tried to register online or you have registered before or you have any of the issues that you, know, you find on the INEC website that we put up you know, a little while ago, some tabs that, you are there, that are there. Uh, you may, if you have any, had any issues, any difficulty uh, trying to register or replace your voter card or stuff, you might be able to send those questions and then we'll be able to put them to Mr. Luku. But Mr. Luku, uh, as Mark Pe hinted at the, the other time, uh, Perhaps a good place to start would be to even look at that microsite uh, for the continua continuous voter registration pr uh, process. Uh, I see a number of tabs on that website. Uh, you may want to talk people through. You've talked about the fact that we don't need to re-register if we lost or damaged, if we have a lost or damaged PVC. Exactly what is the process? So I have a... Uh, I've lost my PVC or my PVC is damaged, it, uh, the BVAS doesn't read it any longer or the smart card reader doesn't read it any longer, what do I need to do? 
if you lost can I go ahead please point? if you lost your card what we are saying is you can speak you to, to the to the website to as, as it is right on the you screen. have to get to our registration you have to get to our registration point now we are not saying registration points are in the words our local government offices and our state offices you have to meet our officials you see that's the important thing because it can never be done by proxy you must physically go there and lodge your complaints and tell them that you lost your card and once you say that immediately they know what to do you'll be given a form to fill a form that is dedicated for that purpose designed for that purpose you'll be given a form to fill and of course if you lost your card you must you must bring some, some proof of identification if you are transferring your, 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 your vote, you bring the other card. You bring the other card to us, to, 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 to show to us. I was registered in Lagos. I've moved to Abuja. This is my card. When we get your card, of course, without telling us, by the time we, we look at it, we put it in our system, we, all your details, we, we get all your details. And it's, it's, what I'm saying is, you know, it's a very easy process because you must apply. And the application process is that you get to our offices, you meet our officials, form will be given to you, and your, your, your details will be taken. And then the, all other processes are internal. Your own responsibility as an individual is to come to our office. But Mr. Present Aluko, yourself physically. The, the challenge Tell here, us what you want to ju do. just one second, Mr. Aluko. I think the challenge here is, which yeah. is why, you know, Malpa is asking about the electronic angle to it. Many people are very busy. Many people may not have the time to yes. uh, go to, INEC, to the INEC office every time, for which reason you have this uh, website dedicated for continual voter registration. And I see that on that page, I'm, I'm on it right now, checking it out, where people can report lost or damaged PVC replacement requests on, the, on, on, the, on your website. Is that also relevant? Is, if anyone has lost, who is it's, watching it's us now and has, yes. and has not been able to get it reported or whatever, is this link on the it's screen relevant now because, still relevant? It's relevant because the online pre-registration process also takes care of, of issues of transfers and issue of reporting loss or damage voters' cards. But what we are saying is, whatever you want to do, if you come online, you indicate. You definitely indicate, but you cannot finish everything online. You still need to get to our office to be able to finalize it, to be able to complete it. That's what I'm saying. Nigerians are busy, you understand. You know, sometimes it's not easy for some people to take time off to be able to get to our, to our office. But at the same time, we also know that if you lost your driver's license, you have to look for time to get to the road safety office. If your, your car your car's papers are expired, you also look for time to be able to get to the VIO's office. So we need to start taking responsibility. We need to take more, I mean, uh, show more interest in the process. It's important for eligible Nigerians to vote. If you are not registered, it's important for you to register to vote because voting is an integral part of our democracy. If you lost your card, it's your responsibility to let us know in INEC and make sure you get another card. If you have transferred to another place, it's your responsibility to let us know so that we'll put you in the new, new location where you just moved to. What we are saying now is that there's a responsibility to these things and we are taking, asking Nigerians to take responsibility. After all, as I said, if your cash papers are expired, you will not sit at home. Mm. And I'm saying now that it's also good for people in various local governments to also do their best to know where our INEC offices are located. Because as I am now, I, li I, I, I live in Abuja Municipal. I know where the VIO office is, VIO office is. I know where road safety office is. If my car's papers are expired every year, I know where to go. If I want to, if my driver's license is expired, I know where to go. So it's good for people to also try and know where the INEC office is. So that uh, even though we have said people can uh, pre-register online, People can also indicate online that they have lost their cards or they want to transfer. You will still have to physically complete these things. You know, we, mm. we have to physically complete these things. And I'm saying people should show more interest. There is no right without a responsibility attached to it. The right to register, the right to vote has certain responsibilities attached to it. So for many young people who 
of course, we're able to take advantage of the online portal. Our offices are there. They should look for time, please. Visit our offices and complete the registrations so that you'll be able to get cards, you'll be able to vote. Well, uh, clearly uh, the questions are beginning to pour in, but we'll take a short break. When we return, Cardo will take us through those ones. So please take us. Well, we're just about 347 days to the next cycle of employment exercise, as we now call it, for public servants. So it's important to have these conversations about you know, voter education, what to do, what not to do. And we're taking uh, this all-important conversation on with uh, Mr. Victor Aluko, who's a director of voter education and publicity at INEC, is in our Abuja studio, as well as Mr. Austin Agbe, senior program officer, Center for Democracy and Development, also in our Abuja studio. Uh, just before we take on those questions, I wanted to quickly bounce this off uh, Mr. Aigbe. We'll come to Mr. Aluko in a moment. But just quickly, uh, by the way, we have a host of questions. But Mr. Aigbe, this introduction of technology, I, I know at the start, there are a lot of people that thought, ah, oh, how do we go about this again? I don't have access to internet or to a computer and all of that. And it was quite of a, uh, a hurdle for, for a lot of people. But uh, how would you say that this uh, has impacted on the attitude of people? Because yes, we introduced technology, but it's important to also uh, evaluate how much, of, uh, how much this might help or hinder the process. But would you say that this has improved overall before we get into those questions? version of technology or electoral process is the best thing ever that will ever happen to our system. It, the, the fact remains that what the digital device has done is to enable people who otherwise, who are too freaked to their own phones, you know, we now live in a digital age, we live online, in fact, people sleep with their phones. So it, what INEC has done is to put the, the process before you, even at your own face, that even if you don't want to go physically to register, once you have the first motivation to go online and click on those relevant links and you have to put in your data and you get a print out to say, come within these days, just come in and you, you, you get people like uh, the, the director talking about you going to facilitate the process and have it registered. There's a likelihood, there's a likelihood of people now leaving the comfort of their homes to just because it takes less than 10 minutes or they're about to complete it complete the physical aspect of it. It may require some time. Sincerely, there are issues. Um, when Omotbe was asking, I, did, I didn't talk about the issue with the, 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 the picture, the picture um, capturing and the online process. There, there, are, there, are, there are diver areas, um, uh, 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 I don't know how to put it now, the kind of camera you have to use, the kind of feature presentation you have to, you have to be, there are the part you have to a bit smile, there's a place you have to look normal, and these two pictures must be accepted for it goes. And sometimes people have also complained about the dark background uh, where they take those pictures, where they do the registration at home. So this orientation needed to go more. People need to be, to be more sensitized. Uh, I know of people come in to say, we can't register, we'll be trying to just go through to click on the two pictures to accept them, to finalize that uh, pre-registration. It had not happened. Easily. What are you waiting for? Just go to the old NEC office and finalize the process. Because it will take maybe 10, 15 minutes, you are done. Especially when you go in early. As already said, everything that has value needed you to commit time for. Well, and Ms. one of Mr. these why, why, to, to be up, Mr. Why, why, Mr. us for the year. Mr. Igbe, just, uh, just one second. Of, uh, under just one second. On the issue, just a second. My, my, my apologies for buttoning. On the issue that you just raised now, that people need to quickly go to the INEC office, and Mr. Luko may want to speak to this as well, but the challenge here is not for people to go, but is the where to go in particular. Do they have to go to the voting ward to complete the process or any INEC office at all? Because if, for instance, I live in Songwater in Lagos, or, and I, I work on the island, which is several kilometers away from where I, where I live and where I will vote, it's easier for me to go to the next door, but not too far from my office, if an INEC office is there. But can I complete the process there and uh, vote at my, at my home, which is kilometers away? Mr. Aigbe, that's for you. Is, it, is this something that you think should be considered? Hello? Yeah. Uh, no. what, what, we, what we are saying, what we are saying is that... Is he talking? Go on. Can what you we hear are me? saying 
is that okay. if you if you decide to pre-register online, you cannot finish that registration at the world level now in the that world is locations noted. where we're we that we is noted. To. You Mr. have to finish it at the local government office or at the state office where we have the that is noted, Mr. Mr. That. Aluko. Just a second. The question here is. Can I do? Can I complete the physical uh, registration at a local government that is not where my ward is? Because that's the experience of many people in different parts of Nigeria, where they work at a place very far from where their local government of uh, residence is, and then they may not be able to make out the time to get away from the office to quickly go back home to register, complete the registration, and come back to work. So is this something that they can do, that they can complete the registration process at a local government far from where they live? Um, I, will actually, I will actually plead with you and all Nigerians that are listening to complete that process in the local government where you, where you live, where you want to vote. It's important to do that. Because if you, if you register in another local government, at the end of the day, your registration will be domiciled there. And you might have to transfer to where you are all over again. So that's why the, 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 the registration guidelines say you register in the local government or ward where you reside or work. That is where you want to vote. So it's better for people to know so that if you are, if you are, in, uh, you are, you are working in Ikeja, but you want to vote in Lekki, it is better to complete your registration in Lekki. Choose Lekki when you are pre-registering and complete your registration there rather than to complete it in Ikeja. And of course, you know, because you will have to be allocated to a polling unit within your ward in the Kenya local government where you registered. So it's, it's important for people to know. Sometimes the process seems a little bit technical, but the electoral process is quite peculiar. Mm. Like you are saying, if your car papers uh, are due, you can send somebody to go and do it for you. But the law does not allow any form of registration by proxy. You cannot collect the card even by proxy. You cannot vote by proxy. Everything is, in, is in, individualized somehow. You, as a person, must take responsibility and do things for yourself. That's what makes the electoral process peculiar. And sometimes well, it sounds not too easy, but that's the way it is. Okay, if you're well, going Mr. to Lico, vote we are... in Abuja Municipal, please complete your registration in Abuja Municipal. Okay, Don't let's run through the questions. Labaji. Okay, let's because run if through you the do in Abaji, now, uh, then Mr. that means Lico. you are allocating you to Alabaji, and you have to transfer to Abuja Municipal. That means you start another process again. Okay, you know, I, I think that, that that point has been gotten. Uh, Mr. Aluko, and I, I imagine that this is, people think that the, the, the servers should be linked. So, I mean, you should be able to access my details perhaps in a faraway place. But I imagine that for the peculiarity of this, you try to uh, domicile servers in each area and they're not linked. Am I right? Perhaps this is just a yes or no question. Am I right? Are the servers linked or just, you know, have them domiciled in those areas? The, 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 the registration, our registration, uh, the voter register, the voter register, whether yes, it's that's linked. No, when, when it comes to, when, when it comes to, to, to um, cleaning the register, when it comes to cleaning the register, we have systems that pick, pick whether people uh, did double registration, whether you did one in Taraba or you did another one in Sokoto, we have something that picks it. But when it comes to where you want to vote, where you want to register and vote. You are the one who said you are from so, so, so local government, and that's where you want to vote. So this is the law encourages you to register there because we are going to allocate you to a polling unit within right. a ward, within okay. a local government. Okay. It's so let me take this question from IOTG. There, there are very technical issues involved right. that makes it so difficult for us when you get registered in another local government, whereas you intend to vote in another place. We have to start telling you to transfer all over again. Okay, well, well, we have process. quite a, a number of questions to cover, and I really appreciate that you're doing this with us. So let me take this one from Ayodeji on Twitter, uh, saying that he has registered and done capture in River State since September last year. Says his PVC is not ready yet, and... Um, commenced the online process saying it was smooth, but missed his date and simply walked to the center to get a new date and got it done. But the question now is, now he's in Lagos, what should he do? Hmm. Wow, he has registered in Rivers. Yes. I think it's Rivers. 
yes, yes rivers the registration in rivers are registered in rivers. As far as we are concerned, the, it is in the register in rivers. And now he has moved to Lagos. The, the issue is he will have to transfer to Lagos. Is there a limit to the number of times you can transfer within the window, within the continuous voter registration window? Once you have, once you have registered, we have not even done the, the cleaning process, as I said, automatic uh, biometric uh, system, biometric identification system. We are, doing good. we are going to do all that one after we finish that one, this one year continuous voter registration. When we finish at the end of June, then after that, we subject the register to a clean-up process. It's after that we print PVCs and then send to where people register. So it is still okay for him now to transfer again to Lagos? Without that is, which is with, without his PVC, without his... Uh, he doesn't have access to PVC yet, you know? He has only entered into a process that we have not finished with him. You know, we have to see subject the process he entered into, into further... Into further uh, activities, like I said, cleaning, releasing the PVC. So, album. He will have to go and get his PVC when PVC is being given. Let then me get another this date transfer. For the four million people whom you say have successfully completed, completed the registration, reg register. I, I assume that that's because they have received their PVC. No, 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 no. no. Okay. The, I told you that when we finish the entire registration process, mm -hmm. we will subject the whole data all over the country to so a clean-up clean process. process. To know whether people, you know, engage in double registration or triple registration or not. Be, it's after, so that, that I, after that, we now have the correct figure, clean register for those new registrants. We now print their PVCs, you know, then we tell them to come and pick their PVCs. That is when the entire system is completed. They are now ready to vote. You know, until that is done, the process has not been completed. It's step by step. So he's stuck in Port Harcourt for now, or well, Rivers for now? Well, if he knew that he would be, he would be uh, returning to Lagos, he should have just waited to do the thing in Lagos. You know? Sometimes it's good for people to know these things. He should have just waited to f do it in Lagos, rather than having to now wait again to do a transfer. Okay, Karide, you still have the floor. Kade stepped uh, by a little, but to follow up on that question that you asked about the three million that have successfully uh, completed the process, what happens to the, to the four million that has, okay, the four million that has com four completed? Four successfully completed. Yeah. What happens to the three million that have not completed or that may not, th those who are unable to complete the process, what happens? Well, as I said earlier, it is the responsibility of those who showed interest in registering to complete the process. And that's why we are pleading with them. And that's why we are enlightening them. We, are, we keep talking, we keep shouting that they should do their best to complete the process. Because if you don't complete the process, it's just that you started something you did not complete. It's not complete, and there's no other way to, 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 to say it. So that's why I'm saying that there's a responsibility to this thing. We have, already, we have uh, talked to Nigerians about it. All over the states now, all our resident leader commissioners are going on TV. All our people are talking to community leaders. We, we're doing all our best to let people know all this. So okay. if you started the online uh, process and you do not complete it, I'm sorry. There's nothing INEC can do about it. The responsibility is not for INEC to complete it for someone. The responsibility is for the registrant to ensure that he is able to complete the process. Well, and our I have this to one. Give the information and to encourage people to take appropriate action. When okay. we give the well, information, me... and we we'll do all we can to encourage people, and people don't take action, sometimes it's painful for us. Okay, let's, let's run th through this question uh, from uh, F. Nami Concept on Twitter, as well, uh, saying that when the name of someone who double registered is deleted during the data scrub, uh, do they, uh, I imagine, does INEC inform the person or not, and how? Won't this bring issues and confusion during election as they will go to polling units and be turned back? Okay, Moria Kimborode, apparently. No, if someone, if someone uh, 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 registered twice, yeah. like you registered in Delta before, you were a voter in Delta, you registered and you get transferred to Abuja, and you, instead of transferring your vote, you now come and register. You see, what you have done, simply invalid. No, 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 the, the question is about, is 
The question is about data scrub. It's invalid. We will not allocate it, uh, to, Mr. Any, Luko, the we'll question, not allocate it to any... Uh, uh, pardon me. The question in this case is about data scrub. If someone's name is scrubbed in that process of data scrub, is a person informed that, okay, your name... It first registration. Okay, it's no, so a, the question is... valid, valid I understand. voter. So how does a person know where the name has been scrubbed? Has it been scrubbed in the first place he registered or the second place? So that at least the person knows where to not, where not to go to and where to go. So is there some form of feedback so they know that, okay, your name is no more in this? That's part of the information we are giving out. Okay. That, that's part of the information we are giving out. We will not give the person a voter's card. All he has done here in Abuja, after moving from Delta to Abuja, you know, are not telling us that he is transferring and he registered afresh. We simply ignore that new registration he did here in Abuja. We just clean it up from our system. Of course, it's an offense to do that. It's an offense to do that. And we are telling people that this thing is not as simple as it, as it seems. If you engage in double registration, it's against the law. It's an offense. There's a penalty to it. We will just clean it up from our system so that it does not clog our system, so that it does not make our system unnecessarily unwieldy. Many people, may, all, we, all that has happened so far, we have removed them from our system. That is, the ones we did in Anambra, the ones we did in FCT, and the one we are doing in Ekitia, and then the one we will do in Oshun. Before okay, very, very quickly. We, we subject their registration yes, to... Yes, very quickly, uh, Mr. Them. Aluko. And the person of course... Just, just one second, Mr. Aluko. From us. Yeah, just one, one quick one from uh, Umar Abu, also on Twitter. We asked them to send in their questions. I first registered during the 2011 general election. Then no P PVC was, in active, was active at my home, uh, a home state, or Kenya to be precise. Then I traveled to Ilorin for schooling, and I lost my temporary card. Now I don't even know if I'm to re-register for PVC. What does this fellow do? Well, if you registered before, it, what, what, what that one means is that he never went back to his local government to collect his PVC. And that's what we are saying. That PVC will still be there as of today. I'm so sure. He never went back to collect his PVC. He said he held on to the, to the temporary, uh, temporary sleep, and which he, he also lost the temporary sleep. He can still go back to that place, go back to our, uh, our local government office, Okene, and collect his PVC. Then after collecting that PVC, then he can do many other things in life. He can transfer to a new place, you know. And if, you know, I mean, people need to just know the basic facts about these things. And the more we talk about them, you know, the more we expect people to know. So that once you know, you also be able to tell others that if you did not collect, if you registered in 2011 and you never went back to collect that PVC, that PVC will be there. I mean, your voter's card, it will be there in our office. Mm. And we said all over the country there are many voters' cards that people did not collect. It's because people did not come back to come and collect these cards. Well, some of them said they came back. I mean, I'm reading, I mean, we're, we're, we're receiving a deluge of tweets this morning <laughs> uh, from people who are really interested in the process. And I think that INEC might need to invest quite a bit in terms of, you know, educating the people on how to go about this. But I, I would like to read a few or uh, one or two feedback, and this will be for Austin to respond to. Uh, this is from Olagunju Oladili, who says, it cannot be denied that there are targeted improvements in the registration process, but the internal cuisine itself has not changed. Limiting the registration units to LGA makes the bottleneck a deliberate process that looks like systemic voter suppression. Um, that's from Olagunju. And then this uh, gentleman who... Uh, we responded to who registered in Port Harcourt and has gone to Lagos, says, so life is uncertain. The gentleman said I should have waited to do it in Lagos. Work brought me to Lagos. I didn't plan it. The whole process seems too robotic and inflexible. People move for different reasons all the time. We're supposed to innovate to solve these problems. Uh, these are some of the, this is the experience of, you know, some Nigerians and young people these days are, Mobile. I know that INEC has tried to innovate to, you know, include this uh, group of people. But looking at how, th looking at the nature of work these days, um, what more? Because we know that INEC is, by, you know, by the laws, are also inhibited uh, and, and can only move so much within these laws. Uh, what major, what other innovation do you think we can bring to bear in such a way that this doesn't look so inflexible um, and so, you know, cumbersome for people to, to undergo? I think people must acknowledge the fact that 
we've moved over a period of time in our electoral landscape. Once upon a time, there was no smart carry that. Once upon a time, there was no beavers. Once upon a time, there was no pre-registration online. These are, there's, a tra there's a trajectory. Uh, I know that folks who are talking now will want what they want, they've not said it, is online voting. And as at this material time, there online is no provision. But there is online, I mean, I'm talking about online voting, the possibility of being able to register in Port Accord and voting in Lagos. So you want to have a card. Uh, I mean, it's almost like for us as uh, election observers, majority of us don't vote. Yes. Uh, journalists media, too. Journalists don't vote. Majority don't vote, including INEC officials who, who are 18 and above, don't vote. They've got right to vote. But when you are posted out of your polling unit, you can use those votes. The reason is because we are not there yet. Maybe in the future, we will sit back and be talking about electronic voting where folks are brought, sitting in the comfort of their home in New York or in London, can click on using some anyhow, but we are not there. So INEC, by the provision of law, again, INEC cannot override the law. The law requires that you have, there's a voter register at the polling unit where your name is domiciled. You cannot, even within the polling station, if your name is in polling unit one, you cannot even vote in polling unit two. It's there. This is one matter for folks who, I mean, somebody asked about uh, how would you know when his name is not. There are claims and objections. At some point, INEC will paste, I mean, uh, I'm of sure course, you will, you will say that. There will be claims and objections where in each of the polling unit, names will be pasted, you go in and check that your name is there. If it's not correctly written, you go back and correct. There, those claims and objections will have some time. If your name is not there, you will go and say, my name is not there, and probably you'll be told that you, you, you've been engaged in multiple registration. And, and again, it's actually an offense. Just get the right information. And information is at our, at our, at our disposal. Um, it is not a deliberate, the first question, it's not deliberate that you, you, you go online, online, sincerely. My colleagues, young folks in our office, who will otherwise never may go to the physical location to get registered. Simply just pull up the system and I encourage them, come on, oh yeah, open it, get it on. Oh yeah, they did it, did all of the smiling and all. Father was always talking about the challenge we, we had and eventually they got it right and they got it did. Went to Amak uh, um, local government area. Within an hour, they were back to the office within an hour. In fact, very, very interestingly, the boat, I don't know whether it's boat or the other one, that had, had a reduced fare for anybody going to get uh, CVRO done. And that was super unique. Mm. Can we then make that across the Federation? That INEC can work with mo most of these uh, service providers that when people register online, once they get online, let's be, let it be like a dedicated line for online registrant. So that because people who go online systemically are those who are busy. It's almost clear. They could do that at the comfort of the table, anywhere in the office and all of that. But you need to create that time. Ten minutes, I know those guys when they came back and I asked them, how did the system go? They said the moment they came, uh, when it was their time about 11, 11 15, that, that was the time that was given. When they went in, before you know what was happening, they did all and they captured that's why, why it's important is because of the finger capturing. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have that online. You won't, get, you won't capture fingers at the pre-registration stage. So they got the finger captured, and before you know what was happening, within 10 minutes, they were out. That is what people need to know. People still believe that when you do the online registration, you are going to see spend that, that Ukrainian time of one hour, two hours, that we did. I did in 2011. I knew what we faced getting, uh, getting registered at that time. It, you, you needed to spend like a whole day. But the timing has been reduced with all of this technology. So you, you've given an interesting angle, and I hope that employers also take this um, into exactly. cognizance. So, uh, for for people who you know live in one local government yes. and work in another local government, please, uh, urban cities yes. where traffic is a major issue. I mean, just as a lot of employers were big on COVID nineteen yes. uh, vaccine, yes. it would also be very helpful if they are also big on uh, you know 
voter registration and encouraging and helping their staff get registered. And it's very interesting yes. to note that uh, there are reduced fares for those who are taking uh, the online sharing, uh, uh, ride sharing apps. Uh, it's very interesting to note that there's reduced fare for them who are going to go and get their continuous voter registration done. So, gentlemen, thank you so much for the information thank you've you so shared much. this morning. Um, I hope that, you know, we've encouraged more people to at least get interested in the process and see how they can get their voter registration cards. Mr. Victor Aluko is the Director of Voter Education and Publicity at INEC, and Mr. Austin Aigbe is the Senior Program Officer, Center for Democracy and Development. Thank you so much for, uh, you. for your enlightenment this morning.